Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. One of the most useful functions of Publisher is the ability to add clip art and other pictures to your publication in order to maximize its overall appearance. Publisher provides you with a clip art gallery stocked with hundreds of images that you'll find useful for enhancing your publications. To insert clip art into your publication page, you click the Clip Art button in the Illustrations group on the Insert tab in the ribbon to open the Clip Art pane at the right side of the publication window. So we'll go up here to Insert, and under Illustrations, we'll click Clip Art, and that will open the Clip Art pane that we see here. You can click into the Search for text box right here and then type words that describe what you're searching for in regards to the content of your clip art. You can change this, for example, to CD-ROM. When you're ready, click Go. It will locate the matching criteria. Now, if you want, you can also use this drop-down to filter for different media types, just illustrations, photographs, videos, audio, Whatever's checked here is what it will display for the results. To add the clip art then into your publication, you simply give it a click and it will be inserted automatically for you into your publication. To close the clip art pane, simply click on the small x in the upper right hand corner of the pane. And then you could go in and resize and manipulate that clip art as needed. We'll go ahead and delete it for now. You can also insert pictures that you save to your computer into your publisher publications. To do this, click the picture button in either the objects group on the home tab or the illustrations group on the insert tab in the ribbon. So it's located right here in the illustrations group under insert or if we click on the Home tab, again, that is under Objects, and we can see that Picture is located right here. Same thing. Now, when you do this, this will open the Insert Picture dialog box. And from here, you navigate to the folder that contains the picture that you want to insert. We'll go ahead and Click on Desktop and locate the sample picture that we want to insert. Give it a click, and then click the Insert button in the lower right-hand corner to insert that picture. Go ahead and delete it. Now you can also choose to insert a picture placeholder into your publication. A picture placeholder allows you to allocate space in a page for a picture that you can insert later. To do this, Click the Picture Placeholder button in the Illustrations group on the Insert tab in the ribbon. So, on the Insert tab, under Illustrations, you'll see the Picture Placeholder. Give that a click. And a Picture Placeholder will automatically be inserted into your page. You can then move and resize the placeholder as desired. Later on, when you want to insert a picture into the placeholder, you can simply click the Insert Picture button that appears in the middle of the Picture Placeholder right here, and that will open the Insert Picture dialog box like we just saw. We can again navigate to the image that we want to insert, give it a click, and click Insert. Now after doing that, it will be inserted with cropping enabled so that you can crop the image if needed. So in this case, you can just click on these cropping tools here and drag it out so that the entire image is shown. And when you're done, just click outside of the image and it will be inserted for you. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.